Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. My name is Rachel. We're going to do a nice morning yoga practice today. So find a little bit of space to move. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's get started. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's begin today laying down, laying all the way down. So option to bring the soles of the feet together and your knees out wide or just to have your legs straight. But take your right hand, rest it on your tummy and your left hand, place it on your heart. Closing your eyes and just notice how you're feeling so far today. You might have literally just crawled out of bed or maybe you've been up for a bit of time, but it doesn't matter. Just notice how you're feeling. How the breath feels. If your mind is already nice and busy, getting lost in all of the tasks that need to be done today and just... Just worry about your breath right now. Just focus on your breath. Nothing else matters. So you do have the option to stay here or we're going to start to lift our legs up into the air. We're trying to wake up, so I encourage you to come with me. <laughs> so you're just going to lift the feet up into the air. That might be a little bit, that might be a lot. Oh, but just rest your arms wherever is comfy, maybe by your sides. Keep your low back connected to the mat. So try and, try and squeeze the low tummy in a little bit. And then still finding the breath here. So you do have the option once again <laughs> to stay exactly as we are right now. Nice and still kind of legs still. Or if you really want to start to wake up the body, we're going to do just a couple, a couple leg lifts. Not too many. So keep the right leg up. Let the left leg come down. Maybe all the way, maybe to a hover. Pull it back up and switch sides. Squeeze that tummy in, breathe, lower the opposite leg, bring it up, switch sides, and good news, we only have one more on each side. Awesome, you guys. What a great way to start the day. <laughs> bring your knees back towards your chest or the feet all the way to the floor, rock side to side or forwards and backwards but we're going to come all the way up onto our hands and knees find your tabletop position however you want to get there spread your fingers nice and wide tuck your toes under and let's lift up into our first downward facing dog so take your dog for a nice walk which is something i literally do <laughs> every morning it's one of my favorite ways to start the day aside from my yoga practice is to take my dogs, my puppies for a nice morning walk. Mm. But for those of you that don't have an actual dog at home, this is your morning walk with your dog. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> All right, you guys, just a few more breaths here, but I want you to move your feet out nice and wide. So all the way out to the edges of your mat, a wide like a down dog. You might want to rock your hips side to side a little bit. You might even want to come for a twist with me. So that left hand is just going to try and grab onto the right leg. That could be your calf, that could be your ankle, but try to grab onto the outside of that leg. Get an added shoulder stretch too. Maybe turning the gaze underneath the right arm. And then slowly letting that go. Left hand comes back to the top. Right hand can reach back for the outside of that left leg if you can get it. Calf the ankle, a little twist, a little shoulder stretch, a little of everything. <laughs> this feels pretty darn good right now. Awesome, you guys. Let that go if you are twisting. One last wide-legged uh, down dog. So rock those hips side to side if it feels good. 
and then we'll start to step our feet all the way back together, all the way together. So big toes touching. Use an inhale, start to lift your right foot up, and an exhale, we're gonna send that right foot forwards all the way to the top of your mat, lower your back knee down, untuck those back toes so that you're on the top of that foot, and let's sink into the hips. So you can keep your hands on the ground, or you can lift up, but we're gonna sink into the hips a little bit, so you might need to pulse it a few times, just kinda waking up that hip, that quad, but we're gonna add a side stretch. So take your left arm and start to reach it up for the ceiling as you inhale. You can lean over to the side or just reach up. Hmm. That should feel pretty good first thing in the morning. The side stretch is the best. Coming back up, left hand down, and then you can inhale the right arm up, and then maybe leaning over to the side. Awesome, you guys. Coming back up as you inhale, bring your hands down to the mat. Let's send the hips back just for a nice half split hamstring stretch. <clears throat> and then we'll slowly come back into that lunge. So bend the knee, tuck those back toes under. We'll plant our hands and start to push ourselves back into our downward dog. Awesome job, you guys. So big toes are coming together. Inhale your left foot up and exhale. Let's send it through. Find that lunge, drop that back knee, untuck the back toes, kind of sink into those hips. You might want to push into it, pulse into it a few times. You might not, but if you want that side stretch, inhale your left or sorry, your right arm up to start and maybe lean over to the side. Awesome, you guys. Inhale brings you back up and then switch left arm up. Lean over if you want it. And then bringing yourself all the way back up. Hands are gonna come down to the floor. Send the hips back, start to straighten the front leg. Just a short and sweet half split. Nice work, you guys, using an inhale. Let's start to come back into the lunge. So bend the front knee, plant the hands. Let's step back into our downward facing dog. Take a nice big inhale and exhale. As you inhale, start to look forwards. Exhale, walk your feet all the way up to the top of your mat and to the outside, to the edges. So turn the toes out a little bit, the heels in, and we're just gonna come for a squat. So the lowest squat that you can keep in mind is the first squat of the day, maybe. So if you can't come all the way down nice and low, that's all good. But just bring your elbows towards your knees if you've got it, lift your chest, sink into those hips. Awesome work, you guys. Now we're gonna start to lift the hips. You can take the heels and move them out a little bit so the toes are pointing forward, finding some length through the legs. And then with an inhale, lift your chest, find those hamstrings. Yes, very good. And exhale as you fold forwards. Awesome work, you guys. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, fold forwards, plant your hands, step your feet all the way back into your downward facing dog. One more inhale. And exhale, lower your knees down, cross your ankles, have a seat. We're gonna keep our right leg out and our left foot coming into the inner thigh with an inhale, sit tall. Exhale, fold forwards. Mm. Waking up the back of the leg. Nice job, you guys. Using an inhale, lift your upper body, send the left leg out, bringing the right foot to the inner thigh. Inhale, lengthen, and an exhale, folding forwards.
Lovely, you guys. Use an inhale to lift back up. You can bring the left leg in. Just finding a nice comfy seat. Ah, closing your eyes. Place your hands on the floor beside you. With a nice big inhale, reach your arms out wide and all the way above your head. Exhale, bring your hands through heart center. Awesome work, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed our practice this morning or whatever time of day it happens to be for you. But until we meet again, namaste.